क्वेश्चन इट इज इलीगल टू पार्क योर व्हीकल ऑप्शन नंबर वन इन एन अनमार्क्ड क्रॉस वॉक ऑप्शन नंबर टू विद इन थ्री फीट ऑफ ए प्राइवेट ड्राइवे ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इन ए बाइसिकल लेन The answer is option number one. In an unmarked crosswalk, note: never park or leave a vehicle on a marked or unmarked crosswalk, sidewalk, partially blocking a sidewalk, or in front of a driveway. Question: The safest precaution that you can take regarding the use of cellular phones and driving is option number one: use hands-free devices so you can keep both hands on the steering wheel. Option number two. Keep your phone within easy reach so you won't need to take your eyes off the road. Option number three: Review the number before answering a call. The answer is option number one: Use hands-free devices so you can keep both hands on the steering wheel. Note: Although hands-free devices are permitted, drivers should minimize distractions to focus on safe driving practices. Question. If you have a green light but traffic is blocking the intersection you should option number 1 stay out of the intersection until traffic clears option number 2 enter the intersection and wait until traffic clears option number 3 merge into another lane and try to go around the traffic the answer is option number 1 stay out of the intersection until traffic clears note Even if you have the green traffic signal light, do not start across the intersection if there are vehicles blocking your way. You do not want to be caught in an intersection with traffic coming at you. Question: You are getting ready to make a right turn. You should option one: signal and turn immediately. Option two: Stop before entering the right lane and let all other traffic go first. Option three. slow down or stop if necessary and then make the turn the answer is option number 3 slow down or stop if necessary and then make the turn note to make a right turn drive close to the right edge of the road watch for pedestrians bicyclists or motorcyclists who may get between your vehicle and the curb begin signaling about 100 feet before the turn look over your right shoulder and reduce your speed Stop behind the limit line. Look both ways and turn when it is safe. Question: You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. Option number one: At all times. Option number two: Only during school hours. Option number three: Unless you do not see any children present. The answer is option number one: At all times. Note. Near schools look for school safety patrols or crossing guards be sure to obey their directions question it is a very windy day you are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway reducing your visibility you should drive slower and turn on your option number 1 interior lights option number 2 parking lights option number 3 headlights The answer is option number three, headlights. Note: If you must drive in a very windy day, then drive slow and use your low beam headlights. Question: If you plan to pass another vehicle, you should option number one, not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane. Option number two, assume the other driver will let you pass if you use your turn signal. Option number three. Assume the other driver will maintain a constant speed. The answer is option number one. Not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane. Question: If you drive faster than other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction and continually pass the other cars, you will option number one get you to your destination much faster and safer. Option number two. Increase the chances of an accident. Option number three: Help prevent traffic congestion. The answer is option number two: Increase the chances of an accident. Note: 
Collisions are more likely to happen when one driver goes faster or slower than the other vehicles on the road. If you drive faster than other traffic, you increase the chances of being involved in a collision. Question: Which of these vehicles must always stop before crossing railroad tracks? Option number one: Tank trucks marked with hazardous material placards. Option number two: Motor homes or pickup trucks towing a boat trailer. Option number three: Any vehicle with three or more axles or weighing more than four thousand pounds. The answer is option number one. Tank trucks marked with hazardous material placards. Note: A diamond-shaped sign on a truck means that the load on the truck is potentially dangerous. Vehicles that display these signs are required to stop before crossing railroad tracks. Question: You are driving on a one-way street. You may turn left onto the another one-way street only if option number one: A sign permits the turn. Option number two: Traffic on the street moves to the right. Option number three: Traffic on the street moves to the left. The answer is option number three: Traffic on the street moves to the left. Question: A large truck is ahead of you and is turning right onto a street with two lanes in each direction. The truck, option number one, may complete its turn in either of the two lanes. Option number two may have to swing wide、right、to complete the right turn. Option number three must stay in the right lane at all times while turning. The answer is option number two may have to swing wide、right、to complete the right turn. Note: the longer the vehicle, the greater the difference in the turning path. This is why large truck drivers must often swing wide、right、to complete a right turn. When you follow a big rig. Look at these turn signals before you start to pass. If the truck appears to be turning left, check the turn signals again. The driver may actually be turning right, but first swinging wide. Question: You may cross a double yellow line to pass another vehicle if the yellow line next to option number one, the other side of the road is a solid line. Option number two, your side of the road is a broken line. Option number three. The other side of the road is a broken line. The answer is option number two. Your side of the road is a broken line. Note: Broken yellow lines indicate that you may pass if the broken line is next to your driving lane. Question: At intersections, crosswalks, and railroad crossings, you should always option number one: Stop, listen, and proceed cautiously. Option number two: Look to the sides of your vehicle to see what is coming. Option number three: Slowly pass vehicles that seem to be stopped for no reason. The answer is option number two: Look to the sides of your vehicle to see what is coming. Note: If you are at intersection, crossing lanes, or turning, make sure there are no vehicles or people blocking the path ahead or to the sides of your vehicle. You do not want to be caught in an intersection with traffic coming at you. Question: You drive defensively when you. Option number one: Always put one car length between you and the car ahead. Option number two: Look only at the car in front of you while driving. Option number three: Keep your eyes moving to look for possible hazards. The answer is option number three. Keep your eyes moving to look for possible hazards. Question: You are driving on the freeway. The vehicle in front of you is a large truck. You should drive. Option number one: Closely behind the truck in bad weather because the driver can see farther ahead. Option number two: Farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle. Option number three: No more than one car length behind the truck so the driver can see you. The answer is option number two. Farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle. Note: When you follow so closely behind the truck that you cannot see the truck driver's side view mirrors, the trucker cannot see you and has no way of knowing you are there. 
Tailgating a Turk is dangerous because you decrease your own safety distance if the vehicle in front of you stops quickly. Question. All of the following practices are dangerous to do while driving. Which of these is also illegal? Option number 1. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. Option number 2. Adjusting your outside mirrors. Option number 3. Transporting an unrestrained animal inside the vehicle. The answer is option number 1. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. Question. Always stop before you cross railroad tracks when? Option number 1. You don't have room on the other side to completely cross the tracks. Option number 2. The railroad crossing is located in a city or town that has frequent train traffic. Option number 3. You transport two or more young children in a passenger vehicle. The answer is option number 1. You don't have room on the other side to completely cross the tracks. Note. Look in both directions and listen for trains. Many crossings have multiple tracks, so be ready to stop before crossing if necessary. Cross railroad tracks only at designated crossings and only when it is safe to do so. Question. When you tailgate other drivers, drive close to their rear bumper. Option number 1. You can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry. Option number 2. Your actions cannot result in a traffic citation. Option number 3. You help reduce traffic congestion. The answer is option number 1. You can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry. Question. Should you always drive slower than other traffic? Option number 1. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. Option number 2. Yes, it is a good defensive driving technique. Option number 3. Yes, it is always safer than driving faster than other traffic. The answer is option number 1. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. Note. You must drive slower when there is heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block the normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be cited. Question. You see a signal person at a road construction site ahead. You should obey his or her instructions. Option number 1. Only if you see orange cones on the road ahead. Option number 2. Unless they conflict with existing signs, signals or laws. Option number 3. At all times. The answer is option number 3. At all times. Question. When can you drive in a bike lane? Option number 1. During rush hour traffic if there are no bicyclists in the bike lane. Option number 2. When you are within 200 feet of a cross street when you plan to turn right. Option number 3. When you want to pass a driver ahead of you who is turning right. The answer is option number 2. When you are within 200 feet of a cross street where you plan to turn right. Note. It is illegal to drive in a bicycle lane unless parking were permitted, entering or leaving the roadway or turning within 200 feet of the intersection. Question. You see a flashing yellow traffic signal at an upcoming intersection. The flashing yellow light means Option 1. Stop before entering the intersection as long as you can do so safely. Option 2. Stop yield to all cross traffic before crossing the intersection. Option 3. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. The answer is option number 3. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Note. A flashing yellow traffic signal light warns you to proceed with caution. Slow down and be alert before entering the intersection. Yield to any pedestrians, bicyclists or vehicles in the intersection. You do not need to stop for a flashing yellow traffic signal light. Question. There is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead. You should. Option number 1. Make eye contact and then pass him or her. Option number 2. Slow down as you pass him or her. Option number 3. Stop and let him or her finish crossing the street.
The answer is option number three. Stop and let him or her finish crossing the street. Note: If you approach a pedestrian crossing at a crosswalk, whether or not the crosswalk is marked by painted lines, you are required to exercise caution and reduce your speed or stop if necessary to ensure the safety of the pedestrian.